Hey guys, welcome back to another Dollar Store Teacher Challenge, and this one comes as a challenge for my good friend Hillary Statham from Pencils to Pigtails. She and I did a Facebook Live with our good friends at SDE, Staff Development for Educators, and on that live, when Hillary was talking about springtime STEM activities for your primary classroom, she said, Adam, I love your Dollar Store Teacher Challenge videos. I challenge you to find something at Dollar Stores that you could turn into a STEM activity. And I was like, all right, challenge accepted, let's do it. So that's what you're gonna see today. So I just got home from Dollar Tree and I was walking up and down the aisles and something grabbed my attention and it was this bag of army men. And I know that you're thinking, oh my gosh, that's not something for my classroom. What am I gonna do? How are you gonna do this? Well, here we go. I know, and I'm sure you know as well, that Toy Story 4 is set to release this summer, which I am stoked about, and I hope you are as well. And these grab my attention as a character from Toy Story that I thought would be cool to do a STEM activity with to get the kids excited about that movie coming out, because the kids are gonna be talking about it anyway, right? So I grabbed some army guys, or army men, or soldiers, or whatever you wanna call these, a uh, buck for 50 of them. I think they have smaller packs too, but they came with vehicles and stuff that I don't really need, so I thought just grab the guys. And then I thought, why not take these, since they've got these base on them, let's turn this into a bridge building stem or a goal to get army men from one area to another area by building something or designing something, right? Now we need to remember that when it comes to STEM, it's not just saying, here, build something, it's solve a problem. And that's what this is going to be. So we need to solve the problem from getting soldiers from here to there, or maybe you have a specific spot in your classroom that you wanna get them from a table to another table and actually build a suspending bridge for them to go across or across a bucket or just across the table. Whatever it may be, I'm gonna show you a really simple way to do this with four things that I picked up at Dollar Tree. So I only spent $4 on this. Um, some of these things you probably have around your classroom already, but I thought what better way to build that bridge than to get popsicle sticks. So I just grabbed some colored ones because I figured I could use these for other activities too in springtime or whatever not. So a buck for a hundred of these. I picked up some more Play-Doh because I thought that'd be perfect to kind of guide these things together. But then I thought to add a little bit extra challenge in there, giving your students some of these mini uh, clothes pins. And I thought that these, I haven't tried it yet, but again, STEM is all problem solving and, and trying and trying. I thought this would be kind of cool to clip the sticks together to see how many soldiers the bridge could hold, right? Or to get them from here to here. So well, let's try this. I don't know what's going to end up, but well, let's see if I can make something, all right? That's what I came up with. Now, you wouldn't have to use uh -oh. uh, as much Play-Doh or as many, uh, you might want to use more clothespins. Now, here's where the clothespins come in really handy and the challenge could really get exciting. So maybe not just building a bridge uh, as the problem to get people, the soldiers from one area to another, but maybe to see how long of a bridge you can build. And really challenge your students to get to think that, that you need to stretch it across this expanse. Now, here's what I encourage you to do. Again, this was four bucks. You might have some of this stuff laying around already, but again, four dollars, and think about how long we could build these bridges using multiple clothespins and multiple popsicle sticks. I mean, these hold those together really, really well, as you can see in my design. Mine started to lean, so I would need to rethink my problem to understand or figure out how I could hold more. See, there it starts to go. Now, for your little ones, your kids are really gonna have to think hard about how sturdy they're gonna have to build the base with the Play-Doh, how wide it can be without another support in the middle, but that's the beauty of STEM, is really getting the kids thinking, solving problems, going through the motions, but start with that plan. I encourage you to do that. Give your kids some paper, pencils, crayons, whatever it may be, have them draw out these supplies. Have them design their project first and then engineer it to be what it can be. That's all part of our science standards. It's all part of the STEM process and the scientific process is figuring out that problem, uh, solving it, designing it, everything, and then reporting your results. Have the kids draw or write about their analysis of what worked, what didn't work, what they had to change, and you could make it fun. So I encourage you, I really challenge you to think about how you could do this 
maybe not just across the table, but from one table to another. Get the kids to understand that your, you know, the problem could be the toy soldiers are in Andy's room. Uh, I'm not being paid by Disney to say that, and I'm not, I hope I'm not infringing on copyrights right there, sorry. Uh, in a room, they need to get from the bed to the toy box to get put away before the adults come in, whatever it may be, and you need to figure out how to span that distance with these supplies only. So there you go, Hillary Challenge accepted. That's a fun STEM activity you can do with things all from Dollar Tree. There you go.